Today we're going to find out a little bit more about the Bible. I want to show you this book. This book is really, really old. And if you were to look at this book and open the pages, you would see that this book is very old. There are lots of books that are really, really old. And some books are so old that they have the wrong information inside. If we were to look back at some of our history books, we would see that things are different today. Some countries are called different names. Some countries are independent and have different rulers. Some countries today have different borders. And so things do change. Science and information changes all of the time. But there's one book that never, ever changes. Do you know what that book is? That's right, it is the Bible. The Bible is a really old book. Now, the Bibles that you maybe have in your house maybe aren't that old because Bibles are printed and there are new Bibles printed all the time. But the words inside the Bible are old. There are some parts of the Bible that are over 3,000 years old. But did you know that the Bible is the best selling book in the world, even though it is so old? There are around 10 million Bibles that are bought every year. Isn't that amazing? And so the Bible is an old book, but it is right up to date. In Bible times, people wore different clothes. They spoke different languages. They lived in different countries. They ate different food. Maybe you can even think of some ways that life is different today from when it was in the Bible. But even though life is different today, even though we wear different clothes and we eat different foods, people are still the same. The Bible is about God's amazing plan. God's amazing plan for you and for me and for this whole world. God has not changed and God's plans have not changed. God is still the same. And the Bible tells us that he is the same yesterday, today and forever. The Bible is about God. It is about God's amazing plan. And God still has an amazing plan today for you, for me and for the whole world. God does not change. God is still the same as he was thousands of years ago. And that is why the Bible is right up to date. In the picture, you can see a young boy. This is King David. What do you know about King David? Can you tell me some things? Yes, King David was a shepherd. He became a soldier in Saul's army. And then he became a great king. In the Bible, we read of many things that God did for David. God chose him to be king. God forgave him when he sinned against him. God helped him when he had problems. God gave him wisdom to make the right decisions. And God still does exactly the same thing today. And that is why the Bible is so exciting today. It is right up to date because God can help you to make the right decisions. God can forgive you for all of your sins. God can help you whenever you have problems. God does not change. And so the Bible is an old book, but it's right up to date for today because it can help you in so many different ways. But God's book, the Bible, is also eternal. What does that mean? Well, the word eternal simply means that God's word lasts forever. It is everlasting. It is eternal. The Bible tells us that God is eternal. He has no beginning and he has no end. There is no one like God. And so because God is eternal, his word is also eternal. Even though the Bible was written a very long time ago, God still wants to say the same things to us today. God speaks through his word, the Bible, and he speaks to us. He speaks to you. If you were to read the Bible, you would discover that the Bible is God's truth. We're going to play a little game and it's called a sword drill. Maybe you've done this before, but what we do is that we simply hold our Bibles up and I'm going to give you a verse to look up in the Bible and then I will say charge as if the Bible is your sword, charge, and then I want you to look up the Bible verse and tell me what it says. So we'll get ready for our sword drill. Okay, we're going to hold it up. I want you to look up the verse Genesis 1 verse 1. Can you repeat that after me? Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. Charge. Can you tell me what the Bible verse says? Did you find it? You read it out. Brilliant. I'll read the verse out. 
The Bible says in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Is that true? Yes, it is true. God did create the heavens and the earth. God created everything. God created everything in this whole universe. And some scientists will say that the world was created by a big bang. Or they'll say the world was created through evolution. And over the years, many of these opinions have changed. But God's word never changes. And God says that he created the heavens and the earth. He created everything. And that is true. The next Bible verse I want you to look up is found in Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9. This is a book in the Old Testament. Okay, so get your Bible ready. Let's say the verse together. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9. Charge. If you find it, you read it out loud. Did you find it? Brilliant. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. You know, that reminds me of the second picture that we see. It's a dark heart. And that reminds us that our hearts are dark. Our hearts are full of sin. God tells us that each one of us are born with sin. Each one of us have sin in our lives. Is that true? Yes, it is. Is that true for you? Yes, it is. And so what Jeremiah wrote down thousands of years ago is still true today. That each and every person has sin in their life. Sin in their heart. Now I want you to look up the very last verse and it's found in John chapter 14 verse 6. John is a book in the New Testament. Okay, you close your Bible, get it ready. Let's say it together. The Bible says in John chapter 14 verse 6, charge. If you find it, you read it out. Did you find it yet? Let's read John chapter 14 verse 6. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So what does that verse mean? Jesus is saying, I am the way. He says, I am the way to the Father. Jesus is the only way to heaven. He is the only way to have your sins forgiven so that you can go to heaven. Is that true today? Yes, it is. And there are many religions around the world that will tell you that there are different ways that you can go to heaven. Some people will say that all religions lead to God. But Jesus said there is only one way to God and he is that way. Is that still true today? Yes, it is. God's word is true today. God's word is always true. God's word is eternal. And God's message does not change. But not only that, the Bible cannot be destroyed. You know, over the years, and if we look back in history, we can see there are many times where many people try to destroy the Bible. About 300 years after Jesus walked and lived on the earth, there was a Roman emperor, and he decided that he would destroy every single copy of God's word. He was determined that no one would be able to read the Bible. Many Christians who followed Jesus and who read the Bible were killed. They were killed for reading the Bible and for believing the Bible. And so life for them was very, very difficult. But do we still have the Bible today? Yes, we do. And so that Roman emperor did not succeed in his desire to see the Bible destroyed because we still have it and we can still read it. In fact, there are millions of copies of the Bible sold every year. There was another man called Voltaire and he was a French writer and he lived in the 1700s and he too decided that he didn't want anybody to read the Bible. He said that a hundred years from now the Bible will not exist. Is that true? No it's not true because the Bible is still in existence. The Bible is read by people all over the world. It is more popular than Voltaire's writings. In the past, many Bibles have been destroyed. Many Bibles have been burned. In fact, people who translated the Bible and who copied the Bible, they too were also killed. Many people have tried to wipe the Bible out, but they cannot wipe the Bible out 
because it is God's word. There's a verse in Matthew 24, verse 35, and it says this. It says, heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will never pass away. God's word is eternal. It cannot be destroyed. There are many countries in the world today where the Bible is banned, where people are not allowed to read the Bible. It is a crime. But in many of these countries, people are able to smuggle Bibles in. There are many people who are able to read the Bible or even to read parts of the Bible because we know that in some countries people share Bibles and they maybe take two or three pages and read them and swap them with someone else. We know that people can read the Bible on their mobile phone. They can listen to it online. There are lots of ways that people are able to read the Bible. And so we know that even in these countries where the Bible is banned, there are still people who are able to hear God's word. Isn't that amazing? And so the Bible, which is God's word, is eternal. It is everlasting. Isn't that amazing? If you have a Bible, you praise God that you have a Bible. Thank him for it and read it and love it and share it with others.